Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you this website named PickMonkey.com, the way you see PickMonkey.com spelled right here. And what this site is, um, this website is for editing photos. Uh, you don't have to register, it's the easiest site that you could use to edit photos. And typically, here's a situation you'll come across as a real estate agent, or anyone else for that matter. Uh, you have a photo, and uh, all you need to do is something simple like maybe make it smaller or maybe rotate it a certain angle or you know something very basic that you don't have to open up this huge photo photo editing software on your computer or maybe you're not on your computer and you're somewhere else that you just need to quickly change something and you can't wait on your assistant or anyone else to do it for you so what you want to do is come to this website here named PicMonkey the way you see it spelled there and just simply do the following look no registration required just click on the edit photo button right here and then find the photo you want. I'm going to use this one as an example. It's going to go ahead and load it all up like this. Uh, when the first time you do this, a question, a little box may come up that's going to ask you, you know, choose, um, choose which quality. It's up to you. Just read the quality. Choose one of the options. After you choose one of the options, this is what will show up. And what I want you to pay attention to is on the left hand side here, all the editing options. You have crop right here, which basically means you could cut. So if I click on crop photo right here, See how I can now, I could go here, let's say I just want to cut out this middle sign right here. So all I got to do is go right here. I could just shoot, make this come be taller, you know, bring this in a little bit, whatever the case is, you know, and then whatever shows up here is what my photo would crop if I was doing that, all right? You could also just do the actual size and everything here. It's up to you. Go ahead and click cancel after that, just as an example. The next one is rotate, so if you click rotate, I just choose the direction that you want to rotate the photo, so we'll just go this way, keep going that way, and or you could do like a mirror image of it or you could do up and down so same thing just play around with it and see how you like it that we could cancel that one so show you the next one the next one is, is exposure and this is just kinda like the settings you know like the brightness and all those items so let's make it brighter we want to make it brighter less brighter you know you could do highlights which kinda makes the color come out a little better see how it kinda makes it look better we get the shadows going so you could basically start toying around with this stuff and uh, I'm just playing around. I'm not like a master at that, but I'm just showing you the options. So anyhow, click cancel on that to show you the other options. The next one is colors. Now you could just make the colors kind of. This is just like the the previous one. You can just kind of work around with these little scrollers to see what you could do with the color feel and everything. And then of course, the last two is sharpen, which is just like the others. You know, just kind of make things more crisp. See how it makes that crisper the more you go, or sharp. I guess you could use that word and then I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and the last one is resize the most common one you're going to need is cropping rotating or resizing and resizing is very simple um, what you want to do is just you know use if you want to just use percentages meaning if this is a hundred percent of the photo let's say you want to make it fit like half the size just put 50 and then it makes it half the size or if you don't want to use percentages you know the exact size just put keep this thing that says keep proportions because that's what makes it evenly it makes it evenly matched but um, if you want, just if you know the other size, go ahead and put 500 and you know 600, whatever the case is, and toy with the sizes. See how you like it. Other than that, that's pretty much everything. After you do that, all you gotta do is click on this save button here across the top, and then it'll save it to your desktop. And then from there, you have your newly edited photo. And that's the easy way to adjust photos without having to be a master at using photoshopping, photo editing software, whether it's Photoshop or whatever the case is. Alrighty. Well, that's everything. If you have any questions, go to facebook.com forward slash tizish the way you see tizish spelled here or go to tizish.com and check out our blog posts and uh, read about our wordpress websites alrighty well good luck take care